Welcome back. And in this lesson, what I want to focus on is how we output to the screen. Now, we've already done that in Echo Hello World here. And you can see all we need to do is to have the word echo. And then we have what we want to echo out to the screen. So fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Obviously, I'm just going to take things a little step further. Now, the first thing I want to do is to close this Hello World script. I want to create a new one. I'm going to call this echo.php and then I'm going to start off with my PHP tag. Okay, so let's go ahead and just echo at hello world again. So hello world, remembering this semicolon. I want you to go across to the browser and we're not going to refresh because if you recall, we are still on the, o the old original index.php, which no longer exists. In fact, if I refresh the page, you can see we get this index or a list of all the files in that directory. Now, the one we've just created is echo.php. So I'll click on that and there we get hello world. Let's go back to our Visual Studio Code. And the next thing I want to do here is just to set up a variable. So let's have a variable called first number and we'll put that equal to five. What I can then do is to echo out first number. So first number. Now, if I go across to the browser and refresh, what do you think you will see on the screen? Well, a lot of students will say, oh, I'll see hello world. And then underneath I will see first number. Some students might say, oh, I'll see hello world. And then underneath I'll see the number five. What a lot of students don't realize is you'll see the hello world and then next to it, number five. And the reason for that is, well, we've just said, hey, echo hello world and then just echo five. If you want a break in between them, we need to put that in. So after the first echo, what I'm going to say is echo and then I'm going to echo a break. So that is some HTML within PHP, within these quotes. So now when I go back and refresh, we have hello world and the number five. And if I go to view developer and view source, we can see hello world. We've got this line break here and then we've got the number five. I'll close that and go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, well, I'm going to copy this echo break here and I'm going to put it underneath this one here. And I'm going to create another variable. This time I'm going to have is member. And if you recall, we did that. We set that to be a Boolean. So let's put that equal to true. And then let's echo out that. Let's echo out is. Now, as soon as I start typing the word is, you can see this autocomplete pop up. And it knows that I have is member as a variable in this file. So if I press my tab key, I get is member just appear there. So you'll get used to this autocomplete as you go through the course. So question again is, what do you think will appear on the screen this time? Well, we know it's going to be hello world. We know it's going to be the number five underneath. What do you think is going to be underneath that? And again, a lot of students will say, oh, I'll see the word true. Well, what you actually see is the number one. And if you recall, I said when we were doing the variables that true is equivalent to one. OK, well, if true is equivalent to one, what happens when I put false in here? So let me just put false in. And hopefully you might know what will happen. What do you think? Well, if I refresh, I get nothing. It's just empty. There's nothing there. And again, I can just check. I can go to view developer view source and I get the hello world and I get the number five, but nothing after that. Let me go ahead and just put another break underneath this. And then underneath here, well, I'm not going to put another echo statement because the other thing I can use is print. So I can print and in the same format, I can just print blue. I can close that off and refresh. Oh, I'll close that one and refresh this one. And there we go. We've got hello world. We've got the number five. We have a gap and then we have blue. So quick question. Why do we have that gap again? Well, if we go back to the code, just to clarify, we are echoing out hello world. We have a break. We are then echoing out the first number, which is five, echoing a break. There's nothing in is member that is false. So that's just nothing there. And then we are echoing out another break. So that gives us that gap. Then we are printing out blue. 
Now, personally, I don't use the print function. I just don't use it. I use echo and it's down to personal choice. It's up to you which you wish to use. I would recommend echo, but uh, different coders do different things. I'm just going to comment that out. So two forward slashes, just to remind myself that I personally don't use that. Now, again, you might want to play around with this, echo some values out to the screen, set up some variables, add some comments, start to build on that foundation before we get into the meat and bones of the course. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.